Good evening, children of God. Good evening, everyone. I want to share my testimony with you guys. I received my healing on the 11th of this month, which is June 2024. Like they used to say, this stand is not a barrier. Um, I joined the prayer line as usual, as I used to join every Tuesday, because a friend invited me to the prayer line. And I've been join, joining the prayer line often, ever since I've been invited. Um, I received my healing, and I'm so happy about it, doing this audio. On Tuesday happened to be my day of freedom. I was having this pain on my shoulder. I think I've been having this pain on my shoulder for the past, it's going to two years now. At the time I was even thinking maybe because of driving every day, going to work and coming back, but I've been driving for a very long time and, and I've visited uh, many hospitals, especially my doctor, has referred me to specialists to, uh, in fact, when they refer me to a specialist to check, to check, they gave me an injection and something vanished. It's not up to two days, the pain came back. I have this pain on my shoulder that even if I want to sleep sometime, I always look for how to balance my body and and sleep because because of the pain and when i want to wake up i don't want to wake up with pain most cases when i'm waking up i wake up you know with pain or wake stand up with tie so that i will not feel the pain but there is no how i will sleep i will still feel pain on my hand not that i don't make use of the hand i'm working with it but this pain happened to be up on my shoulder whereby doctor they have given me medication and nothing happened like i said they won't give me injection there so the last time was i remember they referred me to a specialist and after the injection she called me to confirm how is the pain because she gave me some exercise i'll be doing doing with the hand of which i've been doing but on this faithful day which is this past tuesday 11th of 20 11th of june 2024 um i received my total healing on the hand honestly me coming to the platform <laughs> i have not for one day honestly i will have to be serious and i have to be plain and say the truth i have never for one day pray on the platform that god heal me on this hand please you know not that i don't do things with the hand but i if you see me you won't know that i have this pain you know just on my shoulder the pain is so you know sometimes when i feel it i feel it somehow you know, um, embarrassed that why this pain? Can't you heal? So, to cut the story short, this Tuesday, this past Tuesday, happened to be my healing day on the hand. Immediately, the the time to join the Zoom started. I joined, and I think it was ten o'clock Nigerian time, but. It's, 10, it's 11 o'clock our time here. So I joined and the praise and worship was going on. Normally I used to use my Bluetooth. So as the praise and worship was going on, I said, okay, let me, I, I was lying down before on the bed, you know. So I stood up, I was having that pain. I said, okay, let me do some cleaning. Let me clean my douche, my douches that I have used to, to eat. You know, let me clean the whole kitchen and clean the 
ditches that I have used. So, along the line, after the praise and worship, when our prophetess wanted to start, what came out from her mouth was, she sees, she sees somebody here, the person is having a serious pain on his shoulder, on his right hand shoulder. But mine is left, that the person is having a serious pain on his right hand shoulder. And this pain has become somehow embarrassing to, to the person, that the person should receive his healing. You know, I was <laughs> I was washing my the ditches I have used to eat. Then immediately I dropped the what I was using to wash it. I said, "This is for me." I, I said, "This is for me." Immediately I claim it. That's why mine is left. Then she said, "We should do the hand. We should try and move the hand. What we cannot do before with the hand, we should try and do it. You know, to bring it back, to lift it up, to take it back." You know, so immediately I dropped, for the fact there was still soap on my hand, I have to, you know, do the hand, just force myself, you know, because I have claimed it already. I raise the hand up, I turn it from front, I turn it back, I try to shake it, I use it as if I want to fight boxing, you know, as I just claim that I'm healed. So I now continue washing the, I continue doing what I was doing. Then the prayer was going on. Then she preached and gave the prophecy as usual. After my own prophecy, I was taken off, uh, off from the platform, which is the normal way the, she has been doing it. So I, and I said, okay, it's time for me to sleep because I have to wake up four o'clock in the morning. Let me sleep and uh, so that I wake up, wake up on time. But before I sleep, I did not remember the hand again because normally before, if I want to sleep, I always want to put my hand in a way that when I'm waking up, you know, I will not feel pain. Or when I'm sleeping, I will not be feeling the pain. But I noticed I just slept like that. I just slept like that. You know, it's, all, it's, it's not normal of me that I will, will just sleep like that. Uh, then I, I woke up in the morning. If I want to wake up in the morning, I will try to see if the hand is positioned, the position of the hand is okay, then not that the hand, I, I'm working with it. I go to work every day with it. Nobody notices it. I, I do everything. I drive with it. In fact, my job is very hard. I still do my job, but I know what the kind of thing I can do at work because I know I have pain there. I know when I want to do things, I do it with, you know, so that it will not hurt me at work. So when I woke up in the morning, happened to be the Wednesday of it, I woke up and I never feel any pain and my mind did not even go there again. I did not even remember. I, I did not remember that. How did I wake up like this? I didn't take note of my pain. I just rushed to the bedroom, I, I took my bed, and uh, no, that day I did not in the morning because I was almost getting late, you know. So I just brush and, uh, you know, because my job normally is is the job that, the job I do, when you will get to work, we have bedrooms, we can, you can bath, you can do whatever. I say, okay, for me to go late, let me just go to, to work. So on getting to my working place, I noticed I was, I didn't, even, I didn't notice it, honestly, I won't lie, I didn't notice it. But I was doing things I could not do before. Before I used to take caution of the hand that 
I don't want to hurt the hand. I don't want to use it to lift something that will that I will feel pain. But I was just doing everything without even taking caution, without even trying to mind myself that no, you can't do this, you can do this, you can't do this, you can do this. I was just doing everything. I was doing everything as usual, doing everything. I, I didn't even remember the pain. I did I did not remember the pain again. So at the time, this I just I don't know, maybe the spirit just coming to me and said, You forgotten that you have been healed. He made that I shout, I say, Hallelujah. I say, yeah, I have really received my healing yesterday. Yesterday, I received the healing of this hand. This hand is no more paining me now. I'm using the hand to do what I cannot do before. Ah, I was so happy. I was so much happy. There was so much happiness in me, but nobody noticed it, you know? So I was so much happy. I was happy that I, I was looking at it that, God, is it how you walk? just like that you know so i said okay i will confirm this hand again today at work of which i did the same thing i didn't feel anything in fact i was even blowing the wall try to test it very well i was blowing i was using my hand to do as if i'm fighting the wall with with boxing <laughs> honestly so when i got home although i told I, like i've said they have referred me to rehab you know in this rehab center, they want, they always want to correct things, to put things in normal, what is not working well. It's like a gym. The place is like a gym, fitness, where they go for fitness, but it's, it's a rehab uh, hospital. So I've been going there, and there is something, sometimes they will plug it on my, it's like a patch, they will plug it for, and connect it to a machine because that is the first session I will go. The something will vibrate it, it will vibrate the hand, it will vibrate the shoulder up like this. It will something will be vibrating me. But the moment they plug it, they used to put it maybe one, two, three, four. Then you can tell them to stop that you can you can't continue again. So something will work for like vibrate the hand for like um, 10 minutes you understand so since i've been going because i went there today <laughs> to go and see that it is done the healing is confirmed that is why i'm giving this testimony or making this audio i was there today and they plugged the patch the four of them and they connected the the wire to it. So the guy that used to do it, it put it in number one. I didn't talk. In two, I did not talk. He was continue. He was putting it. Normally, the highest he will put it before is number two. Two, I would say stop, 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 stop. I would tell him to stop, stop. That like I can't continue. That I should leave it like that. That number two is okay. So that number two it will be vibrating the. It will be vibrating the hand like it's massaging the hand, not the one you are using your hand to massage. This thing is like it's a machine. It will be something will be, you know, massaging the hand, vibrating my my this left hand. So the guy was turning it three, four, five. At the time, he now look at my eye. I did not say stop. He turned it again. Then he have to ask me. Are you okay? I said, yes, I'm okay. In my mind, I said, I am healed. I just said to my mind, I, I am healed. He turned it up to eight. You understand? Because him too, he can't finish it. He can't put it in 10. You understand? If you put it in 10, it will be too much. It will be more than my normal hand, you know? So he now left it at eight. He now look at me. He said, am I okay? I said, yes, I'm okay. <laughs> So there's something vibrate my hand without pain. Normally, two alone that it will be vibrating my hand, I will be feeling pain. There's something mass is massage. The vibration is massaging, is mass massaging my hand. So 
I have to wait for like 10 minutes. He would do it for like 10 minutes. The guy was going and coming, going and coming, and there is a bell, something like a button that they say you will call them if you need help. On from that first minute to the end of the 10 minutes, he was thinking I was going to press the bell and call on their attention. I did not. The ma machine has stopped on his own. And I pressed the button. He came and looked at me. <laughs> I laughed. So that is my testimony. And I thank God so much. I thank you so much, mommy. I thank you. God bless you. More anointing. More anointing. And I'm still hoping to receive more anointing from, from the ministry. I'm still hoping to receive more anointing. Honestly, I never prayed about this hand for one day on the platform. I have never. I have never prayed on this hand, but God just said, no, this is where you need your healing first. And God did it for me. So if we are praying, if God is not doing what we really want, is fixing something, that is my belief. That is what I believe with this, my testimony. That is something is feasting. He's trying to fix that thing for you first. Then he will not come and descend on you and say, okay, take. But you have to fix what that and something that needs to be fixed. You need that thing have to be fixed first. Even you are praying for financial blessing, you are praying for house, praying for car. You have to. It will. It will, it's like going to get a driver license first before you said okay, you want to start driving. So God have to fix something that need to be fixed for you first before say okay, what you have asked for, this is it. Because you say, ask and you shall be given. So it will give to you when you have asked. So I never even asked that I need healing for the hand. Honestly, I never prayed for the hand that God healed this hand. I said, let me leave it like that. For the fire is not embarrassing me. It's just that sometimes I feel pain there for the past two years now. But the pain has gone. God has fixed it for me. He has gone. I know he's taking me to another level that... He has prepared for me. And I remember mommy prophesied to me, I think that same Tuesday, that I, that, uh, that I'm going to the next level. I remember that one very well. She even asked me, she told me to call her. I should call her on Wednesday, of which I did. That, uh, but on that prayer line, before she dropped me, she told me, I'm moving to the next level. But whatever that I need, whatever that I have, that I'm not going to leave anything behind, that every blessing that belongs to me in this level that I am now, that I will surely gather it, I will collect it, then God will not take me to the next level. So it's just like what I have explained that God has fixed this hand for me because I never prayed one day for the hand for the hand to heal. I was just taking it like that. You know, but sometimes when you are asking for something and another thing will, will happen. So I received my healing and I thank you so much, Mommy Lakenfa. Thank you so much. God bless you. More anointy. More anointy, more anointy. May the oil, according to uh, <laughs> according to uh, uh, Pastor Jerry, may the oil on your head will never run dry. <laughs> Thank you so much, ma. Thank you, all. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. I really appreciate, and I'm so happy that I, I have received my healing. And whatever that I need to gather before. The Lord take me to the next level. I pray by the special grace of God as soon as possible, I will surely gather them. They will locate me and I will gather them. I will not leave them behind, just as you have prophesied unto me that I will not leave anything behind, that I will gather them and take them to the next level because that next level is going to be a bomb. Thank you so much, Ma. I really appreciate. Thank you so much. And I thank everyone that is saying amen. To have the prayer, even is for you, is not for you. You know, the one that, that this one that I used to receive my healing now was not what I always come for the prayer meeting for. No, was not. It's the least, the lowest thing that I 
I would say, okay, let me even put it in prayer. No, but God healed me and I had received my healing. 